This is Linnea who with WMAR2 News. Here's what oyster growers and conservationists are doing to improve the health of the Chesapeake. Oyster numbers are up this year, but they're nowhere near historic levels for the Chesapeake. Instead of somebody eating them, they're going to go right overboard. The hope? Single 81, single 95. That these will spawn a new generation. These are adult oysters that are getting ready to spawn as soon as they hit the water. Because these mollusks are important for the environment and the culture of the Chesapeake Bay region. Oysters are really a, a keystone species, both for the habitat, but also for people, right? I mean, it's part of our culture here. Everybody loves oysters. We love to eat oysters think about them and how they were harvested from way back when and using the skipjacks and it's just part of the iconic uh, nature of the Chesapeake. That's why oyster growers, the Oyster Recovery Partnership and the Nature Conservancy have teamed up to seed oysters across the watershed. There's sort of this like dual function for the program, one for economic support for the growing aquaculture industry in the Chesapeake Bay and then two to support the uh, ongoing restoration efforts in the bay as well. Feeding the people, restoring the environment, and boosting the economy one bushel at a time. This kind of boosts not only ecologically in the Bay, but also economically in all these farms that grow. So this money goes to help pay my guys, help to pay their health insurance. It really does lift up everybody, you know, as long as everybody participates. In Chester, Linnea Hoover, WMAR 2 News.